Good afternoon, this is the latest video update on Jalawat which is rapidly intensified into a strong typhoon east of the Philippine Islands uh, 5.30 p.m. on Sunday afternoon and again we have Typhoon Jalawat or Bagyong Lawin continuing to meander in this region east of the Philippines last located approximately 380 kilometers east-northeast of the city of Boronga in eastern Samar Maximum sustained winds have now increased to 165 km per hour with gusts of up to 240 km per hour. This is from JMA's latest analysis. Uh, JTWC, or the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, obviously has somewhat higher winds, uh, placing uh, Jelawat at a uh, 185 km per hour typhoon, which makes it a Category 3 typhoon in the Simpson scale. To give you an idea, system was a mere tropical storm earlier this morning, roughly 12 hours ago. It has rapidly intensified to a Category 3 uh, typhoon. So, very strong system now on the uh, visible image. We got the pinhole eye with a diameter around the 10, 15 to 20 kilometers. Very small, definitely. Very, very symmetrical. Central dense overcast uh, swell. The system is moving very slow, uh, very s uh, slowly still, northward at 5 kilometers per hour. But the good news is starting to move northward as been forecasted by the computer models and also forecasting agencies um, continuing to move northward and uh, actually perhaps may not become a threat at all for the uh, Philippines we'll dis discuss it later in our video update but again looking at the microwave image showing the very small pinhole eye um, eye wall again surrounded by very deep convective activity as well we're also starting to see some concentric eye wall actually form around uh, that inner eye wall. We've seen that with Sanba, Super Typhoon last week, Category 5. Um, very uh, su could suggest an eye wall replacement cycle. I'm not really uh, banking on that right now just yet, but with a very small eye, it has uh, it has a prop uh, it has a possibility definitely of, of undergoing an eye wall replacement cycle but as of right now the system is still a very strong typhoon could become a category 4 or even a category 5 in the next 24 to 48 hours still very favorable conditions in this region now obviously the system very near the Philippines Pegasus raised public storms warning signal number one for the entire island of Samar so the obviously the provinces of northern Samar, western Samar and eastern Samar under that signal warning number one as of 5 p.m. this afternoon that means winds around 30 to 60 kilometers per hour should be expected and along with the uh, scattered to widespread rains the next 24 hours as well and also uh, the threat of very uh, rough waves uh, wave heights now increasing and uh, approaching two meters actually along the entire eastern seaboard of the Philippines so definitely uh, do not think about going out into the ocean they're looking at the latest infrared image again showing you that clearing eye uh, starting to really improve now rapidly intensifying as I said earlier and again surrounded by that very deep convective activity particularly along the southwestern periphery of that system central dense overcast still remaining very strong and again the polar outflow has been improving the past 24 hours that has contributed in uh, the rapid intensification that we've seen in the past six hours some breakup in terms of convection some uh, breakup being observed on the uh, southeastern periphery of the system not really concerned about that uh, still expecting the system uh, to uh, to intensify into a perhaps category 4 cat 5 time for the next uh, 4 to 48 hours as you can also see in this latest infrared image the outer rain bands continuing to affect much of the eastern uh, Philippines, eastern Visayas, particularly the island of Samar, Leyte and even northern Mindanao reporting rains of up to 70 millimeters in the past 24 hours. Stations here in Samar also reporting around 30 to 50 millimeters, probably a little bit on the low side there. Um, expecting another 50 to even 100 millimeters in the next um, in the next 24 hours and in fact if you look at the la latest radar images from Pegasus project now again this is from Cebu and Hinatuan radars showing that widespread moderate to heavy rains still impacting the uh, islands of Samar, Leyte even some uh, some rain showers and thunderstorms here in Bohol, uh, Cebu and also here in, um, here in the island of Negros um, again, some rain showers also moving into northern Mindanao and also actually into Davao reporting some light rain showers there as well. Expect those rain showers to continue for the next 24 to even 48 hours as the outer rain winds continue to impact the area and also that southwest monsoonal flow 
perhaps uh, being enhanced by the um, system and if you actually look at the um, Subic and Tagaytay radars not much going on here in the Philipp in the part of Luzon uh, not directly impacted by uh, by uh, Genawat just yet although some isolated thunderstorms being shown here from time to time could bring another uh, round of heavy downpours especially here in Manila so be um, prepared for that as well as for the forecast and the system is starting to move northward so good news there that means our forecasts are starting to pan out latest steering factors in the atmosphere again showing the subtropical ridge anchored here in the northern pacific and also another ridge that is building here in eastern china again the, the system is striking northward under the weakness uh, being induced by this uh, trough that is now diving into east uh, into Japan, actually bringing rains across Japan here, as been mentioned by our meteorologist Robert Spera earlier this morning. Again, the consisting uh, system will continue tracking northward in the next 24 to 48 hours. We'll still have to wait and see how strong this ridge over China will get. Right now, the consensus is still for the system to continue moving northward and perhaps turn a little bit more to the northwest under the influence of this ridge, and perhaps could threaten Taiwan the latter part of this week in fact look at the latest fo forecast from computer models unfortunately still showing a lot of uh, a lot of uncertainties here this green line you can see here taking this towards Taiwan red line over here from the GFS model taking this near Taiwan and recurving it to the northeast perhaps moving very near Okinawa by the latter part of next week this brown line here and I don't know if you can see that very well here but this is the UK MET model actually taking generally to the north and this purple line over here is the CMC model or the Canadian model a very uh, different uh, forecast solution from this computer map model actually taking Jellowat to the northeast you may also see in this map uh, another batch of lines actually being shown by the models and this is Invest 93W which is now a tropical depression we will talk about that later in our video update and you can see consensus for that system is a track to the north. Again, we'll talk about that system uh, in a while. But if you look at the latest official forecast from the weather, weather agencies, let's begin with Pagasa. And here we are showing again the track, uh, general northwest track. And as you can see, they have shifted that a little bit to the east now, no longer expecting a landfall in Luzon, which is good news, definitely. Still moving very slowly to the north, mainly east of Luzon, east of Visayas in the next three days. So fortunately more rains unfortunately for um, parts of uh, eastern Visayas, even Bicol region. And also the threat of monsoonal flow from this uh, moisture inflow from the system. In fact, rains uh, of uh, rainfall amounts of up to 80, 80 millimeters have been reported here in Palawan as well. So. Widespread rains, uh, unfortunately, could could, uh, could impact much of the Philippines in the coming days. Something that we'll be watching as well. Here we are with the Japan Meteorological Agency's forecast, five-day forecast. Here again, j taking a more northerly track now. Remember, yesterday they were taking Jalawa to the northwest near Taiwan. Right now, they have shifted that track well to the east, tracking tracking the system well to the north. Um, perhaps impacting the uh, Ryukyu Islands by um, either by day or uh, Friday. Um, so one thing to note also here is that JMA is forecasting system to be a very strong typhoon, 115 knots uh, being forecast by JMA that could surpass Typhoon Sanba uh, from last week. Finally, we have the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, and ago again, uh, you can also notice again we're starting to see the shifts from the computer, uh, from the official forecast agencies now tracking the system generally to the north, avoiding much of the Philippines in the next three to four days, and could turn more to the northwest by Wednesday, and again threatening the uh, Japanese islands, perhaps uh, near Ishikagijima by uh, Friday afternoon here. And you can also see JDWC forecasting this to be strong category 4 perhaps making around its super typhoon status uh, by uh, Monday or Tuesday. We'll see about that. Um, definitely is starting to get its act together rapidly intensifying. Um, you can also notice in this latest more forecast map from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center very still very wide cone of uncertainty. 
still very low confidence the forecast chart according to this agency according to this um, agency mainly because of the uh, inconsistencies uh, among the computer models and also the uncertainties regarding the uh, strength of the subtropical ridge in eastern China something will need to be monitored in the next two days uh, as that ridge continues to build in so uh, final thoughts here though is that even though the chances of landfall here in Luzon are starting to decrease, which is good news, continuing to monitor the system definitely for the possibility of uh, outer rain bands and also the surge in monsoon could also impact much of Luzon in the coming days. Now as for Taipei and the Taiwan and the rest of the Japanese islands continue to closely monitor the developments of uh, Jalawat as it could threaten your weak end as you move into the other tropical cyclone, we have a tropical depression, a named tropical depression. This is Invest 93W that we've been monitoring in the past two days. This is located very well. I've edited that slide. It's located 560 kilometers west northwest of the island uh, of Guam. Oh, it's definitely well west of the Marianas Islands. Maximum sustainments are at 55 kilometers per hour, gusting up to 85 kilometers per hour. The system is moving northward at 15 kilometers per hour. Look at the latest. Uh, infrared image starting to consolidate now we're starting to see more convective activity occurring right over the center for the past 24 hours most of most of the convection has been confined to the east because of strong westerly shear now that shear is starting to weaken sea surface temperatures remain favorable expect the system to become a tropical storm in the next 24 hours and could actually perhaps make a run at typhoon status by uh, uh, by Tuesday or Wednesday it could actually threaten parts of Japan by the latter part of next week. As of right now, for 24 hour forecast from JMA, still expect the system to continue moving northward. Uh, no five day forecast yet from them. This is still tropical depression. Could it become a tropical storm again, as I said, in the next 24 hours, though? Um, as of right now, uh, no major threats for Guam. Uh, much of the rains has been. Uh, well, uh, it's been west of the islands. Uh, still some breezy conditions and also rough waves. In fact, high surf. Uh, high surf advisory have been issued by the National Weather Service here in the Marianas. Uh, but as we move into the latter part of next week, as we look at the computer model forecast, again, much of the consensus taking this to the north and uh, all eyes here in uh, in Tokyo and uh, parts of southeastern Honshu should be monitoring the system. Uh, may not be, may not make landfall, but uh, could could uh, certainly uh, mess up. Uh, your weekend. Now we take a look at the. F uh, we take a final look at the Western Pacific Basin here. Watching, still closely monitoring. Typhoon Jalawat could become a super typhoon in the next 24 hours, and also tropical depression starting to consolidate. They are embedded along the same monsoon trough, and you can also see the monsoonal surge across South China Sea, moving to the east, impacting parts of the Philippines. Could definitely become uh, much more widespread as this typhoon continues to enhance that southwest monsoon in the coming days so may not make landfall here in Luzon but still more rains uh, for the Philippines but as of right now uh, all eyes should are on, on Taiwan and uh, also on the Japanese islands could approach this region in the next uh, three to five days and that concludes our very long video update apologize for the length yeah, because we're watching two tropical cyclones here so uh, again, could you check up a gas of the latest uh, forecasts and updates on um, Typhoon Jalawat or Bagyong Lawin and also JMA? Now they have been issuing five day forecasts, so uh, interest along, uh, and also actually for Central Weather Bureau for uh, Taiwanese residents. Uh, latest updates on the Typhoon there as well, but definitely interest along Taiwan, uh, Okinawa, and the rest of Ryukyu Islands, and even southern Japan continue monitoring the tropics in the coming days uh, may not be Jalawat but uh, again we have that uh, tropical depression forming could uh, could also threaten Japan in the coming days so uh, that's it for for now um, I we'll have another update uh, for tomorrow continue check out westernpacific.weather.com as well for the latest updates not by uh, not only by me but also from our meteorologist Robert Spett and also at our blog blogspot.com stay safe guys